With regard to the environmental influence of ICT, we can see both the positive and negative effect. The right side shows a negative impact. On the contrary, we can also consider the positive effect which ICT diffusion brings. Uh, the aim of this conference is to make the positive effect larger than negative one. Before evaluating ICT impact on CO2 emission, let's consider the rebound effect. This issue has important implications for the relationship between technology and society. Next slide. This model shows the mechanism of one possible rebound effect. This solution of fundamental traditional values uh, could lead to negative impact, a negative mental spiritual effect, creating forms emptiness. We try to mm, superficially satisfy this emptiness by over consume energy and resources. However, on right side, as you can see, current ICT has an impact on CO2 emission. But there are two points to be aware of that contribute to the rebound effect. Fossil lifestyle and loss of authentic human contact. These can possibly contribute to an increase in disorders. This is a model of invisible interconnection between technology and society. Our definition of rebound effect. The next slide shows an evaluation of the result of ICT impact on CO2 emission without considering rebound effect. Next slide, yeah. Uh, many researchers in Japan have, uh, have been studying ICT impact on CO2 emission. The result shows CO2 detection of two to three percent in 2000, 2010 in comparison with emission in 2000. One click, please. Out. In our project, we studied the impact in 2020. The first column shows uh, typical ICTC applications, for example, uh, teleworking or, or energy management systems. And the following columns shows the impact in each individual sector, these uh, industry, uh, office, home, and so on. The final column shows overall impact on CO2 emission for each application. As you can see, uh, there would be about 5% reduction in total CO2 emission in Japan. We also studied the impact on CO2 emission in 2050. One click, please. Yeah. It was around 10% reduction. This value was estimated according to uniform social change. However, pattern of changes will not be uniform due to the radical nature of ICT revolution. We therefore investigated how to depict a future ICT society, a post-ICT revolution. After that, 
we made the second estimation in 2050. Next slide shows the methodology we developed in order to depict ICT society in 2050. Next slide. Here, we can see the flow of creation method of 2050 social images on which we built desired social model. Next slide, please. This slide shows the desired model for a future sustainable society. It considered how advanced ICT can be deeply integrated integrated with social system, thereby creating both authentic human contact and meaning lifestyle. This leads to attainment of deep, deep satisfaction and stabilized consumption. By fusing technology with mental, spiritual, and social condition, we can achieve a sustainable low carbon society. Our next slide shows an example of life seen in a desired sustainable low carbon society. This scene shows a future family lifestyle. In current situation, self -actual actualization and family communication may, be, may not be compatible. For example, if the father is working away from home, then authentic family communication is impossible. However, using advanced ICT, for example, we call virtual door system, means a communication between families is increased. And also, home automation can release people from routine tasks, thereby giving them time to enjoy a more meaningful life. Next slide, please. In a previous slide, we said the impact on CO2 emission based on uniform social change would be 10% reduction. However, as you can see, after considering, uh, considering social change and created by ICT revolution, we found a 40% reduction in CO2 emission from household origin. This value means over 20% reduction of total CO2 emission in Japan. Slide, please. Next slide, yeah. Uh, due to the development and diffusion of information and communication technology, we can get various benefits in, in all areas of social life. Great social structure change is going to occur, namely ICT revolution. As consumption forms of resources and energy depend on social structure, ICT revolution make it possible to bring about a change in consumption forms. Therefore, ICT revolution can have a large influence on CO2 emission. As present society is moving towards ICT revolution, adding environmental consciousness to the ICT revolution will lead to reforming industrial activity and lifestyle into sustainable homes. This is a key point of ICT and environment. Next slide. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much.